Hello YouTube, this is your tried and true beauty guru here today. Um, I am here to make a video for you that is, um, I don't know, I've just seen these videos around a lot. They're basically where you go back through your makeup collection and you find products that are, you know, kind of been put underneath uh, other products and kind of been hidden from view and just products that I haven't used in a while that I did enjoy um, using but that I actually haven't used for a while. So, I think some people call it the shop your stash and that's just what I'm going to call it too. But I thought this was a fun video to make and I hadn't made a video for a while. So I was thinking, hey, why not? So today I have, um, I believe I have 10 products for you that I have recently loved a lot but they've been replaced by newer products or um, just been put underneath all the other makeup that I have and I haven't seen them for a while and I wanted to start using them again so I'm just gonna start out with eye products because that is one of my favorite areas to do creative makeup is my eye area I love doing things with mascara with color uh, just you know all that kind of stuff so I'm just gonna start out with a eyeshadow that I have not used for probably over a year um, I used to use it a lot when I would go to like prom, uh, to homecoming, things like that, or, or any sort of party that I wanted to dress things up. Um, it's by Rimmel, Rimmel London. Sorry if I did not say that right. Anyway, it's um, the eyeshadow uh, Stir It Up. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Stir It Up. It's in 500. Uh, wait. It says 500 as if, so maybe that's the name and maybe it's in the Stir It Up collection. I don't know. I'm just going to open it so you guys can see. It is a cream eyeshadow, and as you can see, I hit pan with it right there. Um, I've used this a lot. What you do is basically you apply it with your fingers onto your um, eyelid. The only thing was that, you know, you might need some kind of primer or setting spray to really keep this eyeshadow in place but it is a beautiful beautiful bluish purple color purple color it just brings out any color if you have blue eyes and I just loved this I love this shadow I just haven't found a good occasion to wear it yet but this is the shadow that was number one um, next on the eyeshadow list is my actually it's by New York color it is the uh, Sparkle Eye Dust Shimmering Brush On Eye Color. And this is in 9, or sorry, 894A Pink Champagne. Don't know if y'all can see that. But this is just an awesome, awesome little eyeshadow. Because I don't know about you, but I went through the phase where I was just like way into eyeliner and eyeshadow mostly. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to take 10 minutes and 15 minutes and turns into 30 minutes to put all this eyeshadow on and you know what when you're a busy college student like me you don't have time for that anymore so what I love to do I haven't done this in a while because I've actually been going like kind of nothing on my eyelids um but you just get this little awesome little brush I don't know if you can, oh my gosh this brush is so I don't know oops, sorry I don't know if you can see that the brush is so so worn but you dip this in Side like that and you basically just apply it all over your lid and it just gives it a nice sparkle and shimmer and I love this it's not too pink it's more like a bronzy color I definitely want to use this again during the summertime awesome product moving along um, I don't want this video to go too long is my um, Jordana easy eyeliner for eyes this is in the sterling blue color and this eyeliner is really, really nice. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's really great. I'm just going to swatch it on my um, arm. See, it's a really nice blue color. It almost matches my eyes. But it is a very cool um, liner. It goes on with great pigmentation. There's still a lot left in this pencil or pen or whatever you want to call it. I actually use this a lot. Last year, I was way into blue eyeliner. I would just line my eyes with blue eyeliner all the time. I would never use black, ever. But now I'm more into, like, the black 
and now I do just a little bit of blue in the corners but I haven't been doing that for a while so I want to start using this again to line just a little bit of corner with some blue it really makes your eyes pop um, so love Jordana this easy eyeliner awesome to rediscover this okay in the way of eye pencils again I have one more blue one I believe this is from Jordana as well Jordana products make great eye products. You can find them very, very cheaply, and I just love it. Um, this is the Jordana um, in turquoise, and if you can see that, I did not sharpen it, but it is has been used up a lot. It's a really pretty uh, kind of aqua ocean colored um, turquoise uh like pencil eyeliner and I haven't used this in a while but I really for summertime I think it's gonna look great just like the Jordana one. Oh, and I'm just gonna do it on my um, hand so you can see it's um, a very similar color it's actually that one right there it's a little thicker for a thicker line because it is a pencil but um, it has really great color and uh, just in the light it looks great so good one right there okay so, also in the way of eyes, I um, not eyeliner, I'm sorry, mascara. Mascaras that I have loved, but they have been replaced. Um, actually, I'm going to show you what, I, I haven't done a review for this yet, but I will show you what my CoverGirl Lash Blast, which I used to love. This is in the color... 850 which I don't even know what this is but this is the Lash Blast Luxe and I love CoverGirl mascaras that was one of my favorites before my replacement they just have this really thick brush don't know if you can see that but the thick brush is just awesome for getting like separation really thick um, lines so I have not used this CoverGirl in a while because I have replaced it with my Organic Wear um, Physicians Formula. Um, this is the Natural Origin Lash, Blue Lash Boosting Mascara. This stuff, guys, is like freaking awesome. I'm doing a review on it. Look at my eyelashes with one coat. I just love, 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 love Physicians Formula. Um, just want to show you that I don't know don't know if you can see but look at that brush it's awesome it like just makes the best separation everything so I have been using this not this I definitely want to use up some of this I really should before I use this because I don't want to you know have this dry out and this is going to waste because mascaras do expire a lot so and then for waterproof mascaras I love the mega plush Volume by Maybelline, uh, Volume Express. This is the Hydro Fuge by Maybelline New York, and this is in waterproof. And I love this for a waterproof mascara. Um, actually, it's one of my only waterproof mascaras. It does a great job doing right over your regular mascara. You just go right over your regular one after you apply it before it goes dry. And it just sets your mascara for the day. It doesn't really clump. It's awesome. I haven't used this in a while. But with summer coming up, me wanting to be out, going to be sweaty, beaching it up, all that crap, all that, sorry, did I just say <laughs> all that jazz? I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, I just love this. So I'm going to start using that again. And I just have four more products for you guys. I'm sorry this is becoming a very long video. Um, for bronzers, the Milani bronzer right here that is really hit pan. I pretty much have none of this left. Is the powder bronzer in light. And I just really liked this bronzer a lot. As you can see, I used it a lot for contouring, all that stuff. It's pretty much gone. I actually also use it on my neck to blend whenever I do some kind of contouring on my face. Make sure it's blended into my neck. Love this product. Maybe repurchasing. Not sure when I use up all my other bronzers that I have. Also, another product is the Physician's Formula Happy Booster. It is a bronzing, like, heart-shaped pearl thingies. I'm going to open it up for you. I don't know what color this is in. It does not say. But, as you can see, these are cute little heart bronzing things. They have a little bit of shimmer. They smell 
They smell kind of good, actually. They do. They smell really nice. And, um, oh, this is in um, the light bronzer. If you guys can see that in the light bronzer. Anyway, this is supposed to just illuminate yourself, make yourself shine. Beautiful stuff. Um, so I'm going to be using this more over the summertime. Powders in the way of loose powders. The Almy. Alme, oof, sorry. Alme Nearly Naked um, Loose Powder in Light 100. This used to be my go-to powder every single day after I used my Alme Smart Shade Makeup, which I still use every day. used to use this, but it has formally been replaced by my Organic Wear Powder by Physicians Formula. And this is 100% Natural Origin Loose Powder in beige organics. I love, 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 love this powder a lot. I don't know if I love it more than this, but I have not been using this for a while because I just started using this. So probably should use this up first, then use this, but this is also a good product. I've been using this for years as well, even though this replaced it. And last but not least, my spots are concealed cover stick. This thing is awesome. It is a cover stick. It's when I was having really bad acne, this thing did the job. It covers so well. It's supposed to even cover scars and all that stuff. It's really intense. I don't even know the color. Don't even know who makes it, but I know you can find it places if you just Google it. Google My Spots Are Concealed Cover Stick to find it. It's an awesome concealer for spots covers anything, scars, whatever. So I'm sorry guys, this is a long video, but that is basically shopping in my stash here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be doing more review videos. I want to review my new favorite mascara. I want to do a, what is it, April product favorites video. That's going to be coming in a few, probably by the end of the month I'll have that up. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.